Hi my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a one brand makeup tutorial using products from Sleek and these brushes from Vanity Planet. Um, I love these brushes, I mentioned them in an October favourites video recently. You can get 70% off the retail price by using discount code Sabina which is S-E-B-I-N-A-H and I'll leave the link for the brushes down below. Brushes are amazing, they come in a leather pouch, there's 15 brushes all together. Um, and with the discount code I think you can pick them up for about £24 which is crazy because the quality of the brushes is really really amazing. So going in with foundation I'm using this Sleek um, Cream to Powder foundation. The shade is slightly too warm for me so it's got an orange undertone as opposed to yellow so I don't think it was the right colour um, but I just wanted to test it out and see how it felt. I like the fact that it's cream to powder um, but the coverage is not high so you would obviously need a couple of layers if you wanted high coverage. I was happy just to do one layer and have like quite low medium coverage because I was going to go in and contour and highlight anyway. But So moving on to eyebrows, I'm using this Sleek Eyebrow Kit. I wish I'd used my eyebrow pencil um, from Sleek because that I use that every single day and I absolutely love that. Um, but I'm just going in with this angled brush and I'm using the cream product first. It's super pigmented like literally it made, even though it's dark brown, it made my eyebrows look black. I didn't go in with the powder because I didn't feel like I needed to. I felt like the cream was enough. But I'll show you what one eyebrow looks like once in comparison to the other once I'm done. That's the difference. And that's both of them done. Now going in with this fluffy brush from Vanity Planet. It's my absolute favourite brush. I'm using the Sleek Eyeshadow Palette. I'll leave the name of all the palettes and all of the products down below as well so you guys know exactly what I've used. Um, but I'm going in with this cream colour first on my crease. And then I'm just going to build it up. Didn't really know what I was doing when I started it, so I kind of just went for whatever felt right. Um, but I'm going in with a slightly darker shade now, back into the crease, and I'm blending it out as well, so I'm not keeping it just at the crease. And then finally, with the darkest brown shade, I'm going to try and keep this in the crease and lower. I don't want to take it above the crease line. I'm going to blend it on the outer end, and then I'm going to work my way in the crease, and then I'm going to apply it in the inner corner of the eye as well just so that I've got dark on the out and inner corner. And then going back in with the fluffier brush and blending it all out. I'm taking this lighter shade and this smaller eyeshadow brush and just applying that to my brow bone. I'm going in with the gold shade and I'm just using my fingertips just because I wanted to just add a little bit of shimmer right in the centre of the eye. Um, this wasn't hugely pigmented, which I was quite surprised about because sleek eyeshadows are normally really, really pigmented. Um, but I kind of prefer that because sometimes you add gold and then it like overtakes everything. So I like the fact that I could build it up. And I'm taking slightly lighter gold, just dabbing that right in the centre, just the tiniest amount. And then going back in and tidying up that, or cleaning up that crease. That's what it looks like. And uh, now for contour, I'm using this sleek cream contour kit. I'm using the darkest shade. This is my go-to product when I want to cream and powder contour. And I just love the way that it blends. I love how it feels. I love how it lasts. Um, but I'm just doing my cheekbones, my nose, and the top of my forehead. And I'm gonna blend that all out with a beauty blender and then I'll set it with some powder in a little while. I then decided to use this illuminator on top of my contour on my cheeks just to add a little bit of glow to them, just warm it up a bit more. And then going back in with the small um, eyeshadow brush, I'm actually using that to highlight. I didn't really like the highlighter. It's from the same kit as the contour, so I guess if I used it more regularly, it'd be more creamy. But I just felt like because the product wasn't warm enough, it didn't apply properly with the brush. So in the end, I decided to go in with my fingers and apply it like that. And then I blended it all out with a beauty blender. Um, I didn't like it when I was applying it, but I actually quite like the end result and um, I think it looks quite good and I'm going in with the cream contour and a small brush just so that I can really control and define that contour and then I'll do the same on my nose as well and set it all in place 
and then for blusher guys I've been loving this blusher I've been literally using it on a daily basis it's a blush by 3 kit um, and it's the orange shade it's like literally my go-to shade now I love it I think it's perfect for Asian skin I feel like it really adds that warm glow um, and I just think it's the right shade yeah love it um, and then for highlighter I went in with the gold highlighter um, this highlighting kit is amazing as well. I haven't tried the cream highlighters, but the powder highlighters I love. And I'm just taking the fan brush from Vanity Planet and using that to, to apply. And then eyeliner, I'm using the Dip It Eyeliner by Sleek, which was really, really easy to apply. The brush is, isn't too thin, but it's not too thick either, but it makes it really easy to do a winged liner. And then I forgot to set my eyebrows in place so I'm going to use the eyebrow gel from Sleek and just make sure that I put all of those hairs in place so they don't move throughout the day. And then finally onto lips, I used these Mac Me um, liquid lipsticks from Sleek. I'll leave the colours below. I can't remember the name of this one but the one I use after is Birthday Soup which is my all time favourite. Um, the thing with these is you have to be a little bit careful. If you layer, the, layer them too much they become like crumbly. Um, and they don't look good so literally go for like one max two layers I don't need a lip liner with these either which I love because I can literally just go straight in with the product um, but I'm adding birthday suit into the middle and then I'm going to blend it out with my fingers I felt like that was the best way to blend it out just to make sure that I've got even coverage over the whole of my lips um, so that they don't get crumbly throughout the day and then gonna add some lashes and this is the finished look if you guys like it make sure you give it a thumbs up hit subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all soon inshallah